this game has officially begun. Hester will run this one out. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. Freeman's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. First down at the 28. Here's the quick toss. The Falcons snap it up at the 26. Matt Ryan's pass intended for Roddy White. On the offensive side, if it's third and long, there's very few plays that you have that are going to pick this up. So be careful in a situation like this. The Titans lined up in the nickel. Unable to complete that one, and that's a very quick three and out. Bosher is back now. He'll be punting it away. Looking to make a difference. Brought down at the 41-yard line. That returns good for about 13. The Titans will go with the pistol on this play. First down at the 41. Sankey's handed the football. Fights through that hit. Ball is out. This one's going back the other way. That's what you call a takeaway. The defense just makes such a hard hit that they take the football away from the offense and they recover the fumble. The Falcons offense comes back onto the field. Let's see if they can move the chains this time because the last possession was ugly. They weren't out there very long. But you know how I think in situations like this. Makes the grab. Touchdown. Nice throw by the quarterback that time. Put it right on the money. Not a big window. It doesn't matter to him today. Great control of the football. Put it right in there for the touchdown. Falcons ready to kick it away. Picks up the football at the six. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. the Falcons were able to knock the ball out the last time and get the takeaway. Hey, man, this defense, boy, do they go after the football. They are aggressive, sometimes too aggressive when they miss assignments, but not that time. They jarred the football loose. Tanky's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. It's Sankey in the backfield. The Titans from the 27. Over the middle and incomplete that time. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. The Titans from the 27. This is going to bring up fourth down. Short series this time for the offense. Hester's going to take this one from the 18. He's tackled right at the 31. And a run back of about 13. The Titans defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. 
And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call him out there, Parker. Hey, that's what I do. Thank you, Parker. That's Ryan connecting with Roddy White. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. First down at the 49. The Falcons get a first down. That time it was an easy completion for the quarterback on the play action pass and it fools the defense because look how aggressive the offensive line is. They sold the play to the defense and the quarterback took advantage. The Falcons break huddle and show a jumbo look. Should have had it but the hit knocked it out. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close. So he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Ryan's pass will be incomplete this time. You got to try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't throw off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're going to be as good if you had good balance. That time the throws off the mark. Ryan's lined up two tight end set. When you're in a situation like this, it's third and long, what do you think the defense is going to guard against? Long pass down the field. That's right. So it's very obvious. And that time, nobody's open down the field, so the pass goes incomplete. Everyone knows they were looking for seven on that trip, but they add the field goal and have a nice little cushion here early in the second quarter, Phil. I agree with what the coach did there that time. That was a good job. Get the three points and keep everything rolling your way and put doubt into your opponent's mind. The Titans offense coming back onto the field here, desperately trying to avoid a repeat of their last drive when they had the quick three and out. I'll tell you what, if they go three and out again, you know what's going to happen? Those defensive players are going to be looking at them as they come off the field. You put this back out there already, so it's important to get a drive, give your defense a little rest. That's his first reception today. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Going to be a tackle for a loss. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. The Titans take it from the 43. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Third and five still to go, even after that last completion. Always try to save the timeout or timeouts when you can. And one way to do it is go to the hurry up offense. Good job. Throws the pass. In completion here as he was looking over the middle. Nice job that time by the receiver on the post route. He's open, but the quarterback throws it too far and misses it. And the punt is kicked out of bounds. Falcons have had a smart and snappy first half, and that's reflected on the scoreboard. Hmm, sounds like the way I dress. Smart and snappy. That is me. But, you know, hey, it's been a good first half for the offense. They want to keep it going. I'm sure they will. Freeman's in the backfield. Single back set. Trying to find it over to the right. The Titans signal for the timeout. That's the first one they've used. Third down on the way. The Titans defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Jones got the catch and the first. Going to take it the distance. The 10. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. 
Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him score a touchdown. Pretty exciting stuff. The Titans will have plenty of work to do in the second half, but they'll want to try and cut into the lead here before the intermission. The score's 17 to 0. Catches it at the nine and starts his return. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Titans heading back out there on offense, hoping to improve on their last possession, which ended rather quickly with a punt. Yeah, I think what they got to do, they got to come out and be a little more creative, get the defense off guard, make them think over there. That was too generic what they did on the offensive side. If you want to score, show some ingenuity. Second down coming up. The Falcons will come out in the dime. Let's go. Mariota's got it in the gun. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. The Titans come out in the pistol. Here's the handoff. Slashes to the left side. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. The Titans trying to catch the defense by surprise here on third and long. They go with the run. And sometimes those runs on third and long work if you can pick up a first down. But that time the defense was ready. They tried it, and it didn't work. They call on Brett Kern to punt the football. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Games 16. The Falcons know there's three parts to every football game. Offense, defense, and special teams. What a play for the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking. They get it done. The Falcons have been a completely different team offensively here in the second quarter, and they've started to open up a nice lead. Yeah, got to give the coaches a lot of credit, Jim. They changed their strategy on the offensive side. They gave the players a better chance, and the players have taken advantage of those situations. And as the first half comes to a close, we'll take a quick break before the beginning of the second half here in South Florida. Fields the football at the three. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. The Titans offense trots out onto the field, looking to get into the end zone and see if they can turn the tide in this one, partner. Well, the fact that they are losing this game so far, the sense of urgency is there on the offensive side. You know, you have many plays in that playbook. I think you need to try a few different ones here in the second half. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The Titans will take the snap from the 30. It's wide open. Mariota's tackled down at the 45. At the 45-yard line. It's Sankey in the backfield. First and 10. Caught by Justin Hunter. He's taken down at the 30. That's his first reception today. Well, that's a good route that time by the receiver. They call that a post route, and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw and catch. The Titans will take the snap from the 30. Sankey's taking the handoff. He gets into the end zone, capping off the long run. Sometimes when you fight for those extra yards, it might lead to a fumble as it did early in the game for this runner. But he got over it, he came back in there, he's still playing hard, and he gets a touchdown this time. Ryan Suckup ready for the kickoff. 
Hester's got it on the return. And the tackle's made right around the 32-yard line. The Falcons come out to open up the second half, and they were hitting on all cylinders in the first half, Phil. Yeah, be smart here in the second half, Jim. When you start out, just find out what the defense is thinking, and once you get a, a feeling about what they're going to do, then you start taking some chances. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Freeman's going to secure the handoff. Still on his feet. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. Freeman's lined up in a single back formation. Ryan gives it up. They have this one covered up and it's going to set them back for a loss. The Titans' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. Nice piece of running. The Falcons running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards, take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Loss of four on the play. Lions taking off. And it's batted down. The Falcons really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. And that punt is going out of bounds. They are not going to allow them to return it. The Falcons' defense, let's see where they are mentally here, Phil, after allowing a touchdown. Well, they got to have some motivation after that last drive. It was so poor. It's about discipline. We didn't see it from their defense. So this time, go out there and just do your job. Bishop Senke makes the catch. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. Mariota's back in shotgun formation. The Titans now move the chains. That's another reception, giving him two. First down, pressure on every snap now. The Titans pistol set here. Now first and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. On his way. The ten taking it all the way home for the touchdown. <laughs> Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there. They get to catch the football. They get to score touchdowns. They get to do dances. And... You're not really allowed to hit him either. What a job. The Falcons ready to return the kick. Hester, the return man here. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Falcons didn't get much out of that last drive, so now here they come again on offense. I'm sure they're going to be a little bit more of an urgency to the offense this time. Well, I'll just say this to you, Jim Nance. I sure hope so. After that last drive, that was just too generic. Wasn't very well thought out, and they've got to change what they're doing on the offensive side. Got to give that defense a little credit, though, don't you? Well, yeah, the defense did its job, but yeah, that was pretty easy. They bring in the extra tight end. Freeman's got it on the handoff. 
and that's a gain of 10. The Titans will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Freeman's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Handoff into the open. Spins away from contact. Huge yardage picked up and finally tackled at the end. Coming to the line at the 24. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. Jim, no surprise there. You got the lead. It's late in the game. You run the football. Make that clock keep ticking. And you go over these situations so many times in practice. You got to manage the clock. No much time you got left. They've done that well. And just keep running it. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Falcons lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Freeman's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving it the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. In situations like this, when you're looking to get that one first down to win the game, it's tough because the defense knows there's only a few plays that you're going to try to run, but the offense gets it done. Great job. First and goal from the nine. Looking across the middle. Very nearly intercepted. Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets the position down near his own end zone, knocks that pass down. Second and goal from the nine. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Jim, I just want to say this to the quarterback. It's third and goal. If the play's not there, throw it away. Do not force the action. Third and goal from the nine. It's a walk-off touchdown beyond Bundley. Well, that touchdown just put the icing on the cake, Jim. Whatever you want to say. Because now the lead's too big. Not enough time for the other team to come back. Great job by the offense. Oh, my gosh. When you miss an extra point, that is heartbreaking. You got to concentrate on an extra point just like you would a 50-yard field goal. It's like in golf. We see great golfers miss uh, putts from two feet away. Why? They didn't concentrate. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. The Titans looking for a repeat of their last drive as they get set for this next one. They got to the end zone on that possession, but of course immediately gave those points right back. Jim on the offensive side, everything is clicking. The quarterback's hot. The offensive line's doing an awesome job. Receivers getting open. The running back's running hard. It is fun to watch. No one's going to get him now. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. It was a close one. And at the final whistle, what a win for that one team. It sure is. What a, what a thrill to win a close game in the NFL. Uh, you think about it, how hard it is just to get one win and how tough it was out there.